Okay guys, another quick video with my setup for running cashew reactor. Uh, as you can see, this is the hydrogen. Uh, this is just a thin hose if there is an explosion or something. Uh, this is a kind of a fire extinguisher and goes to the system with the valves, another two gases, argon and helium also in the gas distribution are going two pumps, low level uh, vacuum pump GOMCO and Liebold uh, high vacuum pump for deep vacuum, going further from the pumps of course you got uh, your distribution, gas distribution, which pump is gonna work first, which second and you are coming into the plasma extinguisher which will close the plasma uh, from the distribution box also here you have two pipes going into the reactor which is this one uh, for the inner chamber and outer chamber and right now I will show you what to do with the reactor I forgot another safety percussion um, there is another fire extinguisher here on the way of the vacuum uh, or arc extinguisher or fire arrestor or whatever you want to call it and also this is a small TV I hope uh, if there is any x-rays or anything the screen is supposed to start to scintillate and at the meantime there is a radio built in so if I lose the radio that means the reactor is working I hope you can see the plate well first of all there is a motor which will create the turbulence it comes in the middle um, it is connected to these three pins there is also a speed feedback connection I can use the other motor which is this one or a side blower which takes the whatever it's air or whatever from the side and blow it from the front for the core I can use my favorite jar and for a second chamber I can use this jar on top or I can use a metal cores which are fitting on the same and I can use either this jar on top or smaller one which fits again these are the holders for the jars uh, with plastic um, and that's it uh, there are a bunch of other options with um, different metal cores which I will explore later another quick explanation what is what on the main plate uh, those is the pipe for the outer chamber those is the pipe for the inner chamber, in chamber sorry it goes inside in the middle of the jar those are the three uh, bolts which are vacuum tied and they have a small cable extensions uh, on which I will connect the motor inside the chamber which is uh, having also a speed feedback uh, these two screws are futures if I decide to activate the plasma through a high voltage these two screws are the same thing if I decide to uh, use high voltage or something else into the system uh, I can use it um, another option is uh, spinning uh, magnets from the under the plate and also I can use UV light uh, to slide it under the whole thing is gonna be enclosed into a microwave just to minimize the radiation or whatever can come to 
and that's it.